I think the day that we saw this picture as Manchester United fans, we were all incredibly excited. Manchester United were bringing in one of the hottest prospects in all of Europe. One of the best young talents in the world. And not even just one of the best young talents, one of the best players. This was a guy who genuinely in the future, we were talking about becoming a Ballon d'Or contender, Jadon Sancho. However, we never quite got that. We've never quite got that. In 82 appearances in all competitions, just 12 goals and 6 assists. Now, to be fair, I've seen worse returns. But it really hasn't been a good enough transfer. It really hasn't gone very well for Jadon Sancho at United. Today, we need to discuss what his future is. Does he have a future at the club? What other teams could he move to? Let's have a look. But first of all, I want to look at what has gone so wrong for him. Now, the first issue that Jadon Sancho has is a few different managers being at the club. We've seen Rangnick, we've seen Michael Carrick, we've seen Ten Hag, we've seen Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It's never really been settled. And of course, United in that time as a football club haven't been settled. We've seen different approaches from a tactical point of view, which hasn't helped a player like Jadon Sancho. If we go back to his days at Borussia Dortmund, it was very clear what he got. He was a player who was brought into the team to move inside and link things. He had Hakimi, who would always fly around him at fullback. He had midfielders, which would push forward and join him in the attack, giving Sancho freedom to express himself, get on the ball in different areas of the pitch and make things happen. And that's very much what he'd done for Borussia Dortmund. We can see it in these Dortmund stats here, particularly that third season there. 20 goals and 19 assists in 44 appearances is genuinely incredible. Again, that is Ballon d'Or contender sort of level of form, but we just haven't seen it for United. And it's because I think from a tactical point of view, we haven't seen him given the ability to achieve and succeed. We haven't seen a fullback which constantly flies around. Someone like Christian Eriksen last season wasn't a midfielder which always wanted to push forward past him. Marcus Rashford isn't the, the linking striker which Jadon Sancho likes to play with, but he's also not the target man like Erling Haaland was at Borussia Dortmund, again, which Sancho likes to play with. So I think there's been an issue from a tactical point of view. I think we also, though, have to look at Jadon Sancho, the way in which he has applied himself. Has it been good enough? Probably not. His body language in games at times has been really poor. I think, you know, we have to feel sorry for him as well because his confidence has clearly been massively hit since he joined the club. We all thought he was going to come in for this big money, be the new main man, given a number seven shirt. It just didn't quite work out like that. And again, I do feel sorry for him in that way. And again, he's a human. He's had confidence levels off the pitch and that, that is a problem for him and I feel sorry for him. At the same time, has he applied himself well enough? His professionalism has been questioned throughout his career. We do have to blame Jadon Sancho as well. I certainly don't think he's helped himself. But again, I think a lot of it is from a tactical point of view. What we do know with Sancho is that he is still an incredible footballer. We know that when operating in tight spaces, he's a brilliant dribbler. I don't think he's ever going to be a traditional winger which goes one versus one against a man constantly like this. I think... When he joined the club, I thought he could become that, and I truthfully was wrong about it. What we've seen since he's been at Old Trafford is that he can't really go one for one, uh, one against one against a fullback. He's much better at coming into crowded areas like this, where perhaps you're going to get a couple of players around him, and he's going to find to uh, find a way to wiggle through. I think that's what we've seen Jaden Sancho is really his strength. He's also good at really linking the play in these areas as well. So when he's got players around him that he can uh, can combine with, again at United we don't really see that. United are quite transitional. But also, Eriksen isn't a runner which gets around him all the time. Jadon Sancho hasn't had those players in and around him, which he's able to constantly play one-twos with, slip passes through to in, uh, in behind gaps, thread balls through the opposition defence. Jadon Sancho hasn't been given the facilities to achieve that. Again, though, at the same time, I don't think he's improved enough as a footballer since he's been at the club. I don't think we've seen enough in his game in matches when he has been given opportunities. Yes, perhaps the environment hasn't been great for him, Tactically, it hasn't been set up perfectly for him. I still think he could have done a hell of a lot more than what he has. I think he could have shown shown more in games, more, more intent to get on the ball and make something happen. We haven't seen that. At Dortmund, he used to do it all the time. He would pick up the ball in different uh, positions and situations and almost put that Dortmund team on his back and say, OK, I'm going to go make something happen now. We've never seen him do that for United. And... You do have to do that when you come in for as much money and as with the reputation, really, that Sancho came into the club with. So I certainly think he has had tactical problems. And then, of course, it, it's all been blown out of proportion. We've now got him versus Eric Ten Hag. I think Jadon Sancho needs to leave the club. I think there's a great player in there. I really do. But I don't think we're going to see him thrive in the environment at Manchester United anytime soon. Again, if we go back to it from a tactical point of view, I don't think tactical setup is going to suit Sancho anytime soon. But of course, there is this massive off-the-pitch issue. I think Jadon Sancho massively overreacted. 
Now, of course, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. We don't see it all. But in terms of what we saw in the media, I don't think there was anything that wrong with what Eric Ten Hag said. And Sancho just kind of clapped back for no reason at all. We didn't need to see that. He's then supposedly refused to apologise to Eric Ten Hag. The big news today is that he got removed from the player WhatsApp group. What an interesting bit of news that is. Does anyone really care? Um, but I think it's over for Jadon Sancho at Manchester United. I think he'll be on his way out of the club. I don't think United will get anywhere near the fee that they paid for him. And ultimately, it has been a complete failure of a transfer. But now the talk is, where could he go? Preferably in January, just to get him out of the club, get the situation sorted. I still think he's a really good footballer. I think there's potential in the, in the right system, the right environment for this to be a, a great player. He has to sort his work rate out off the pitch. He needs to work on his professionalism his mentality, things like that, he has to work on that. But he could still succeed if he moved somewhere else in Europe. The big talk is Borussia Dortmund returning to Dortmund, and I think there's potential in that, you know, going back where he was loved, that will instantly boost his confidence. But there is kind of that saying in football that you should never go back because it's just never the same again, and I, I think that might be the case with Sancho at Dortmund. And I also just don't think that Dortmund side is very good. However, I wouldn't mind him moving to Barcelona. So before we continue into the video, a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, jerseyfifa.com, the home of all of the greatest football kits. Whether that be the new latest releases or the old classic ones like this, Jersey FIFA has something for everyone. And now you can check it out yourself using the link in the description down below. And also make sure to use code JERSEYFIFA for 10% off when you order. Now the main reason that I say Barcelona is because I think that from a tactical point of view, they are way more suited to the way that Jadon Sancho wants to play. I think it's a much more natural fit. Of course also, La Liga is a much less physical league. Jadon Sancho never really adapted to the physicality of the Premier League. Playing in a less physical league like La Liga could certainly help him out and kind of give him the opportunity to succeed. Did not mean to pull wan Bissaka on the screen there. But I also think, from a tactical point of view, Barcelona are a possession side, a side which dominate the ball, play out from the back, average around 60% possession in most games, they're controlling the ball. But I also actually think the tactical structure works really well. We've got Balde at left back who flies around all the time, reminiscent of how Hakimi used to play and link up with Jadon Sancho. But we've also got Gundogan in his position as well, who loves to push forward. So Barcelona will often find themselves in more of a back three at times, although it can be a two three as well. But they're going to push players forward, they're going to dominate the ball, and they're going to get technicians around Jadon Sancho. It would allow him to play on his favoured left-hand side, which I guess is another problem he had at United, which I didn't really touch on there, is that he wanted to play on the left, but Rashford has always been there. And on the right, Eric Ten Hag signed Anthony, and clearly shows favouritism towards Anthony. So Sancho has also had that problem at United. I don't think he would have it at Barcelona. I think he would be, by far, their best left-sided option. Moving inside, with Balde flying around the outside, like this, you would then have Gundogan pushing forward into these areas to try and link up with him, but also Jao Felix, who is an incredibly technically gifted player, someone who can combine and bring others into the game. The potential for Sancho to play really nice football at Barcelona is definitely there, and I think that's why I would like to see this move. Now, this is obviously a really short video. We haven't gone much in depth in terms of tactics and things like that. I just saw the news again regarding Sancho this morning, and I thought, I haven't really said anything on it, so... Yeah, there's a quick video for you guys on my thoughts. Why hasn't it worked? I think Sancho hasn't worked hard enough. I don't think he's applied himself well enough. But I also think managers haven't give, uh, given him enough of a chance. I do believe that. And I also think tactically, the team has never been set up in a way to get the best out of Jadon Sancho. I now feel that with the fallout, he just needs to move, preferably in January. And I do think that that Barcelona uh, transfer would definitely make sense. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. How did it go from this, that smile and Jaden Sancho playing with these stats, to this and this? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.